Welcome to Simon Chartier Show number 15. And this is, uh, this one goes out to Seth. This is the Thelonious Monk introspection. So that's introspection, Thelonious Monk. I first learned it off the record. Actually, cassette. I had this. this I, I lost all my cassettes in in uh, Hurricane Sandy. Lucky not my life, but I had the cassette, and I would just keep playing it over and over again, um, trying to figure it out. And then later on, I got the Thelonious Monk fake book. And uh, then I played it a little more correctly. But Seth told me he enjoyed it. I, I actually played this. Uh, the, it's at the end of Rockin' with Simon and the Bar Sinisters, which that record I put out in 2002. And it's at the very end. And nobody ever even noticed that I played it before. So that's for you, Seth. Now, this song, what I think's going on with it, right? I really think it's in D flat, but what I think's really going on there is this. Right, so it starts like so the starts out in the key of A flat, right? So you have Thank you. 
that's the bass movement, but with Thelonious Monk, what I find is to when you're uh, improvising over the changes, you got to work out your own harmonizations. Because if, like, the chords are moving like this, right? Obviously, you wouldn't want to be. So you have to work out your own thing. So the way I'm gonna. See, for me that makes sense. Like. Departure, right? But then, if you do the, it makes it a little easier. Like, what's he doing? Because Monk, even he has a the ten, the ten when he was given a lesson, he had the ten tips for musicians, and one of them was let some stuff go by. Don't try to play every chord. And that really applies here, so like I can be... So I'm like, this is a common, it's very common in bebop, right? You got to know these... And if you just go... It makes it more like... about Lonely Smunk is he loved that whole tone scale. And in as much as I've been able to discover, Charlie Parker liked the flat nine and so did Bach. So Charlie Parker like this. Right? And Bach loved that too. Bach would be like... Monk loved, he did flat, but he loved this. And you can. So the thing about Monk that I found trying to trying to play his music is that I try to figure out where where his real changes are. When I just try to play up and down every change. It sounds too mechanical to me. Now, a cat like John Coltrane could get away with it, but <laughs> I can't get away with it. So I had to find a way to kind of find a language for it, right?
right, that's uh, introspection, Thelonious Monk, and I'll see. You, I'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>